and found dead in her home in Croydon. They were called to the address in Thornton Heath yesterday morning. A murder investigation is now underway. Well, Helen Keenan. Tonight, 75 years of Windrush. But still, after the scandal, the thousands of Londoners waiting for government compensation also ahead. Good evening. It is 75 years since the Empire Windrush docked at Tilbury in Essex, then a symbol of post-war migration that transformed our city and its culture. Today on Windrush Day, the legacy of that generation is being celebrated, but they are celebrations tinged with anger. The Windrush scandal left thousands facing detention and deportation, despite having every right to live here in the UK. The government says it is committed to righting the wrongs, and yet thousands more are still waiting for compensation. Antoine Allen reflects. Ah, well, on to uh, another story now. An international team searching for a missing sub in the Atlantic have found debris near the wreck of the Titanic. It's now being evaluated. Surrey businessman Shazada Darwood and his 19-year-old son were among those on board. Carolyn C a Metropolitan Police officer has been convicted of assault after he pepper sprayed a man who was climbing down the drain pipe attached to a high rise block in Southwark. Sam Holder is more incredible stunts. There's a big movie premiere in Leicester Square tonight. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part One, starring the one and only Tom Cruise. Before we go to Sally on the red carpet, let's take a look. Oh, as you expect, full on action there. Let's go to Sally now, who is. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Sally. Uh, and that is it from us. Mary Housey, ITV Evening News at 6.30. But for now, from all of us and Tom on the London team, bye-bye and enjoy your evening.